this is just a video of every single event that can occur in river castle and i also have collected footage of every single event that could happen in river casting too i don't know why so there are six different categories of events i'm going to be going over first category of events are your global events these are events that just affect the entire game the second category of events are the avatar morph events and these will change your avatar like make you bigger turn you into something else shit like that the third category are the plate events these are events that change a plate in a certain way the fourth kind of events i'm going to be going over are the item events these are obviously events that just give players items the fifth category of events i'm going to be going over are the statistic altering events this will change a player's stats the last category of events are the player events and these are events that affect specific players all right so the global events include the murder mystery event which gives one player a knife and one player a gun and the person with a knife can stab people and deal 40 damage per stab and the person with a gun can shoot the murderer to instantly kill them or if they shoot an instant player they'll take 40 percent damage this is acid rain this will make acid start raining on every play one thing you could do during this is go like this and go oh. One thing you can do is do a jump like this to get to this climbing animation so that the acid rain can't hit you. Next is the Santa event. This one will make a present fall onto every plate in the game. And if you open the present, you get a random gear. The fourth event is Rising Acid. And this one makes acid rise up, so get higher. Next is Snowball Fire. And this one will give every player in the game a snowball for 30 seconds that they can throw at other players to deal damage. Next is the Blizzard event. And when this occurs, everyone in the game will get damage unless they have something above their head. And also, every plate in the game will become snowy. Next is Shuffle. And this one will just make players in the game swap positions with each other at random. And the last one is shroud and this one just makes everything dark again the next type of event is the avatar morph events there are currently only five of these in the game the first one is the abomination this one just makes you big and it gives you more hp but while you're transforming into a bigger person you'll only have 10 hp this is one of the reasons why it's useful to stay hidden because if you're hidden and this event happens to you you should be fine while you're transforming unless someone finds you then they could just one tap you very easily next is monkey and this one will transform a random player into a monkey duh and it'll also increase your maximum hp and give you a boost for 90 seconds next is a zombie event this one will transform one random player into a zombie and when you become a zombie your maximum hp will be decreased down to 50 and you'll also get permanent slowness and you'll also get the ability to infect other people if you just touch them also when you become infected all your effects will be cleared like life link or your speed boost next is wide and this one will make a random player fat and also increase their maximum hp and the last one that hasn't been removed is santa and this one will transform one player into santa and they could deliver presents to all the houses if santa delivers a present to your house you'll get a gift and you can open it and it'll contain a random gear and then also if the santa delivers enough presents they'll get a candy cane sword next event category i'm going to be going over are the plate events the first event i'm going to be going over is the king of the hill event and this one will replace whatever is on a random plate with this blue ring that you can see on screen and this blue ring will last for 33 seconds and you get three points for every second that you stand within it and also everyone that's in the blue ring will be given a super fist that they can punch other players with the player with the highest score by the end of the event will be given a force field for a minute and a half next one is home and this one will just remove the house completely from a plate. The next one is cheap materials, and this one will just unanchor all the materials on a specific house. Next is house improvement. This one will transform a random house into this house, and you can get to the second floor by climbing up the ladder. Next is frozen plate, and this one will just turn the plate into ice, and it'll make it slippery. Next one is lava, and this one it'll transform a plate to lava. And if you touch the lava, it'll give you a burn effect. Next is solar flare, and this one will spawn above a plate, and anyone on the plate that it spawns on will get the burn effect, unless they're inside the house. And if you're on the road and it spawns on the road play everyone on the road will start to burn the next one is flood escape and what this one will do is it'll teleport a random player to the plate and it'll also transform the plate to flood escape and you have to parkour your way out next one is maze and this one will transform the plate to a maze next is abandoned house it'll just add barricades to the front of the house making it almost impossible to enter next is trampoline and this one will change the plate to a trampoline and it'll make people bounce whenever they step on it next is illumina and this one will add the illumina sword to the plate it'll one make you invulnerable for around a second and then two it'll explode so it'll kill anyone else near you one thing to note with this is just you have to be careful and make sure you jump on the illumina and then jump away from it or else when it explodes it has a chance to just fling you and kill you anyways the next one is the bank and this one will transform a plate into a bank and then if you enter the bank you could steal up to a thousand cash and then when you exit the bank you'll get 10 tokens if you got a thousand cash the next one is blaze and this one will just burn a random house down the next one is switched plates and this one will just swap two plates with each other if it switches positions with the road and it 
a random house. Anyone standing on the road will pause the void. Next one is campfire. And this one will just spawn a campfire on a plate. And if you stand near the campfire, it'll heal you. But if you stand on the campfire, it'll give you the burn effect. Next is larger plate. And this one just increases the plate size. Next is the toxic gas event. This one will give one random player a gas mask and then gas one random plate, which will spawn a gas cloud on that plate. And it'll damage anyone inside the gas cloud slowly. And also, if you have the fire effect and you go inside the gas cloud, it'll explode the gas and also any building on the plate. Next is tacos. And this one, it'll add a big taco above the plate and then it'll rain tacos below on the plate. The next one is igloo. And this one will transform the plate into an igloo. Okay, and next is beehive. This one will add a beehive to a plate. Next is security wall. And this is the security wall right here. And if you go sideways like this and you go like that, you could jump into the security wall. Next is spooked. And this one will add a disco ball along with two dancing skeletons onto a random plate. And if you're on the plate when it gets spooked, you'll be stunned for eight seconds and forced to dance. Next is the duel event. This one will transform a random plate into a duel arena and teleport two random players into the duel arena. And the only way to get out of this is to kill the other person or just wait 30 seconds. Next one is shop and this one will transform the house into a shop. Next one is snow globe and this one will just encompass the plate in the snow globe and then after two minutes are up, the snow globe will get removed. Next one is aliens. A UFO will come down and then suck up the plate. Next is anvil and this one will spawn the anvil where you can craft the chaos sword if you have three gears. Next is cake and this one will spawn a cake on a random plate and if you eat it, you'll gain maximum health and you'll heal. Next is treadmill and this one will just do this. Next is firework barrage and this one will spawn rockets on random plates and then it'll launch at players and then before it explodes, there'll be a light red hitbox visible that you can see to get out of the way before it damages you and if you don't get out of the way you take 45 damage next is invisible play and this one will turn a random play invisible next is lightning and this will make lightning strike at random place and if you're on a play that gets struck by the lightning it'll deal 80 percent of your maximum health or a minimum of 30 damage next is lowered play and this one will just lower your play the next one is meteor and this one will spawn a meteor on a random play as well as pretty much instantly kill you the next one is mini house and this one will just it'll transform the house and make it small next is icicle pierce an icicle will spawn and it'll go up upwards and then if you touch it you'll take 50 damage the next one is castle this one will transform a random house into a castle next you got spaceship and this one will spawn a spaceship and then the moon above the plate and then if you go in the spaceship you'll get launched up to the moon after the countdown ends next is slime and if you touch the slime on a plate you'll get the slow effect for a little bit next event is the mountain and this one will just spawn a giant mountain that will rise upwards next is umbrella and this one will transform a random plate into an umbrella shop and if you go in the umbrella shop you'll get launched up and then you'll be given an umbrella that you can equip next one is field gate and this one it'll add a lever to a plate and if the lever is activated it'll spawn a force field around the plate and it won't allow anyone to enter this is loot drop and this one will drop random loot crates onto random plates and when you open the loot crate it functions just like a gift aka it gives you a random gear next is the shooting star event this one will crash a star onto a random plate and the star can either be green or yellow and if you interact with a green star it'll give you healing and if you interact with the yellow star it'll give you a boost this is the nuke event this one will spawn a nuke on a random plate and if you launch the nuke it'll target a random plate that is not that plate unless that's the only plate in the game that it can target and then once the new kits it'll destroy the plate and it'll set anyone near the nuke explosions hp to one this is the corrupted eye and this one will spawn a corrupted eye on a plate and it'll rise up and then start laser beaming people the fourth category of events i'm going to be going over are the item events you got the antidote event the katana event which would teleport one random player behind another random player and the person that teleport gets the katana the lightsaber event which would give one player a jedi lightsaber and one player a sith lightsaber the hot dog event the ice cream event the fire extinguisher event the candy cane event the assassin event which will make one player an assassin and give them an assassin's gun and they have to kill their target within 60 seconds or else they die the death note event which will have a yellow beam of light spawn on one play and the beam of light will slowly shrink and then the death note will descend from that beam of light the minecraft sword event the bomb camera event the freeze ray event the warp tool event the flute event the banana event which will give a random number of players one to two bananas the gravity coil event and last the explosive gear event which could either give a rocket launcher or a subspace trip mine or a mine the fifth category of events i'm going to be going over are the statistic altering events all right so the first event is the chill effect and this one it'll transform a player's face to the chill face and it'll give them like green particles that spawn around them and it'll give them very fast healing next is the double hp event this one will just double a player's maximum hp next is the fire event this one will set a random person on fire and they'll burn infinitely and they'll also be safe in areas like the solar flare or the burning house since they're already burning the only way to get them to stop burning is by either using a freeze ray on them them eating ice cream, them drinking an antidote, the freeze event being targeted on them, or using the fire extinguisher on them. Next event is the force field event. This one will give a random player a force field for 60 seconds, which will protect them against most things. Next is half health, and this one will reduce a player's maximum HP by half. Next is high jump, and this one will increase a player's jump power by 50, and it'll also emit yellow particles around their feet. Next event is the mysterious potion event. This one will give a random player an option to drink a potion, and the 
effects you can get include giving you speed, slowing you, stunning you, healing you, burning you, making you invisible, or giving you a force field. Next is supervision, and this one will give a player the ability to see players through walls as well as their HP. Next is the life stealer event, and this one will give a random player the ability to steal life of other players that they go near. Next one is one HP, and this one will just set a random player's HP to one. And the last one is cloud in the bottle, and this one will give you the ability to jump twice. The last category of events I'm going to be going over are the player events. So the first one is sands, and this one will give them the sands fight dialogue, and then when the fight starts, just beams will start flying at them, and you can see where the beams are going to be coming from if you look around and see the face. The strategy to survive this is just literally just sit down, like I said in my last video, which if you haven't watched already, go ahead and watch that. The next one is the explosion death, and this one, a random player will explode within 90 seconds. The next one is ads, and this one will just fill your screen with ads you got close out. This is blocks of cola, and this one will make a blocks of cola drink sound effect on a random player, and after the sound effect's over, it'll spawn the blocks of cola, and then stun the player that gets hit, so get somewhere safe like in a house instead of being on the roof, and also if you jump at the right time, you can avoid getting stunned by the blocks of cola. Next one is fedora, and it'll just give the player this hat. Next one is frostbite, and this one will cause the player to start losing their limbs, and the only way to get rid of this is by drinking an ando before your arms fall off. Next one is jetpack, and this one will give you a jetpack, and you can actually fly, but you only have a certain amount of fuel. The next one is the life link event, and this one will link two players, and if one of the players dies, they both die. If it gets to the final two players, and the two that are lifelinked are still lifelinked, they'll get unlifelinked, or they also get unlifelinked if someone drinks an antidote. The next one is love struck, and this one is like a lifelink, except it only goes one way. The person that has hearts appearing around them is the admirer, and if the admirer's link is killed, then they'll also die, but not the other way around. Next is math test, and this one will just give you a random math question from 13 to 13, and if you get the question wrong, you'll lose 99 HP, and you'll also get a done sad. Next one is the freeze, and this one will just freeze a player and trap them in ice. Next one is teleport, and this one will just teleport a random player to a random player. Next you got death realm, and this one will transport two players to the death realm. It'll give them a demonic sword. When you're in the death realm, you have to kill the person that you got sent to the death realm with, or else it'll start killing you both slowly, and it'll speed up the rate at which it kills you until one of you dies. And this also bypasses the force field. Next is angel wings, and this one will give a random person a pair of wings, and also give them an activatable ability at the top of their screen, which when activated allows the player to fly for seven seconds, and then immediately after being activated goes on cooldown for 20 seconds. Next one is the microwave event and this one will give a random player a microwave and then they'll explode after 10 seconds. And what the person with the microwave can do is pass it on to another player. So basically it's just hot potato. Next one is Santa's Naughty List and this one will spawn 1 to 8 balls of cold that fall onto random players so then everything in his path will get unanchored. And if you touch it you take 50 damage. The last event is Super Bounce Revival and this one will spawn 1 to 3 missiles that will target players at random and what the player needs to do is hide behind an object or another player and when the missile makes contact with a player they will die unless they have a force field all right that's the end of this video if you like this video give it a like because honestly this video took forever to make i'd say this easily took over 60 hours to make probably even more than that because i've been working on this for a little over a week obviously not just doing this the whole time but yeah and if you have any ideas for future videos that you want me to do let me know in the comments below maybe i'll make a video going over all the items in this game maybe i won't i honestly don't know because this took forever Anyways, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.